Hi, my name is Ashton and welcome back to Ashton's EDC. Today, um, the video that I'm going to be doing and sharing is talking about this. This is a multi-tool um, that belonged to my grandfather. Um, I was just recently got this um, as I was helping uh, my, uh, my uh, grandmother move. Um, my grandfather has uh, passed away several years ago, so when I found this uh, in the move, um, I asked if this belonged to him, and my grandmother said yes, it did. So um, I just think it's really cool. Um, it is a Leatherman style multi tool with the pliers there. I don't think it is Leatherman branded. Uh, I've looked all over on this multi tool. Um, and I can't find anywhere that has any type of brand or anything like that or uh, stamp um, <laughs> really into anything uh, but it does come in this um, little belt sheath here um, so kind of a cool uh, multi-tool um, not one that I'm going to use but definitely one that I'm glad to have in my collection uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the camera down towards the table now and I'll uh, take a look um, and we'll take a look and I'll show you a bit more information and detail about this multi-tool and what uh, what the tool set is on this. Alright, so here we are taking a look down at the table um, to go into a bit more detail into this uh, multi-tool that belonged to my grandfather. So it does come in this uh, kind of pleather, uh, like fake leather sheath. Um, I don't believe it is actual leather. When you look on the inside, it does kind of have more of a nylon looking material. But as you can see, it's been well used and carried. Uh, it does have this uh, belt loop back here to loop it through your belt. But let's take a look. For now, I'll set the sheath off to the side and we'll take a look at the multi-tool. So it's a pretty small multi-tool, uh, so it comes in just about almost exactly four inches long and just over an inch wide. So pretty uh, pretty small and compact as you can see. It's got some rust spots all the way around. And opening it up, it's a bit sticky to get it opened up, but once you get it into that open position, it's actually very smooth. So that's pretty nice. You got the pliers here with the cutters, obviously not replaceable. The pliers have been pretty well used. They're pretty dinged up and scratched and uh, whatnot, but like I said before, I'm not planning to use this multi-tool really in any... <laughs> um, you know, in any large uh, capacity, but it's just a really cool one to add to the collection. So let's take a look at some of the tools. Starting on this side, got the can opener. These aren't locking tools, but they do snap into place pretty securely. Got the can opener, pretty thick to be a can opener, but I'm sure it works fine, I haven't tested that. Obviously it can also be used as a bottle opener. All right, next to that, um, tools are a little bit tricky to get out. Next to that we've got a Phillips driver. Again, snaps into place very securely. It's actually pretty difficult to get past that detent or whatever when closing that uh, sort of spring mechanism. So we've got the Phillips driver there. We've got a little micro um, Micro screwdriver, uh, micro flathead screwdriver. And lastly on this side, we've got this. This is the fish scaler tool, I believe is what this is, what this is called. And it does have a ruler here. Um, just on the one side, I believe this looks like it is in inches. Yep, so you have an inch ruler here, about just looks like about three inches, along with the fish scaler there. So it's kind of interesting because these tools are, when in the closed position, they're really kind of floppy. But once you get them opened and past that spring, they snap into place very securely. 
All right, let's take a look at the other side now. Let's see, what have we got here? We've got a large flathead there, and then another smaller size flathead as well. Um, then we've got what I believe is a, a reamer. Um, it's not at all as it doesn't have the sewing eye there, but it does have a pretty, uh, pretty sharp edge there uh, with a very nice precise point. And then lastly, we've got the knife. So let's see, I'll just close this up to show you how it would work when using the knife. Similar to a lot of Leatherman's in this uh, kind of capacity, as you can see. Um, the knife goes from the top there, so while you're cutting, even though this does have a pretty strong spring tension in this uh, back section here, even if you were to, you know, get past that spring tension, tension, it wouldn't close on your finger, so it would get stopped there. So yeah, that's everything. Pretty, uh, pretty unique multi-tool. Um, I don't think this is a, a Leatherman or anything like that. I couldn't find any brands on it or any stamps anywhere along the multi-tool. If you happen to know exactly what brand this is or where this came from, I would love to hear in the comments down below. Pretty interesting, pretty slim design. Well, open uh, like that. Just about two inches in this dimension direction. And about six and a quarter inches. But pretty slim uh, design, especially in the plier, uh, plier head area here. Still has pretty nice precision, as you can see. Um, looks like it might be bent out a little little bit, but still pretty pretty good pretty good got some nice fine teeth there on this section as well as the wider um, Teeth here for grabbing nuts and that kind of thing. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty unique multi-tool Definitely one. I'm glad to have in my collection uh, I don't plan on using it, but I'm definitely going to keep it to maybe even on my desk because um, it's a pretty special multi-tool to have that belonged uh, to my grandfather. Um, but again, if you ha know any information about this, um, maybe you happen to have one or know one exactly like that, or know any other information about its history or brand, I'd love to hear in the comments down below. Uh, but that's everything for today's video. Uh, if you like this video, uh, hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe uh, to my channel if you're liking the other uh, videos that I'm making. Um, as well, check the uh, description box down below. I'm not going to be able to link this one, of course, but I have a bunch of other links down there to my social media, uh, to my Instagram. I have a link tree as well, which you can go to access all of my links. Um, I started a WordPress uh, account, so doing some uh, blog posts uh, kind of in um, combination with the videos that I make. I'm going into some more information in some of the different items that I review. Um, so make sure to check the description down below. I've got all sorts of links and information down there. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, stay tuned for more videos in the coming, uh, coming days and weeks. Um, and have a great rest of the day. Take care.